Why do people love silver more than gold? I should change that. Why do the stacking community love silver more than gold? Because honestly, if you go outside this community, then a lot of people is going to choose gold over silver. Because they practically don't know some of the stuff I'm going to go over with you guys today. And matter of fact, speaking of that, we're starting now. Thank you guys so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. My name is Eli, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up. Find me on my social media platform, Urban Lifestyle 1989. And don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. So the question of the day is going to be, do you guys much rather gold over silver or silver over gold? Tongue twister a little bit there. <clears throat> yeah. Comment down below. Let me know. So the first thing I want to get off my mind, the first thing I want to say, the first thing I believe everybody should know is we actually do love gold. We love gold a lot. I, I mean, I, I'm speaking for a lot of people here. We do love gold. But at the same time, gold is about, we're going to go into point number two now. Gold is about 1,200 and it lingers to about 1,300 at the time of recording. So what does that make it? That's about rent, all right? My rent is about the price of gold. If I wasn't paying rent, then I could buy gold all the time, every month. Matter of fact, I could always buy gold anytime I want. I could buy gold today if I wanted to. But it's a bit different. For the average people, that's rent for them, all right? We're talking about you, you have to pay rent and then buy a gold ounce. And some people, you know, just buy five ounces a month, maybe 20 ounces a month. I mean, we're talking about bonding stats right there, man. They make, you know, they make rich people look poor sometimes, you know? But yeah, it's about rent, all right? And a lot of people just can't afford that. A lot of people just can't afford gold, all right? Now, if we go to the other side, the flip side, silver, silver is lingering about 15 to $16. And that is at the time of this recording, I shall say again, all right? About 15 to $16. That's about one to two hours of your work life, all right? People could just be like, oh yeah, you know what? It's just one to two hours, $16 and you know, like $16 an ounce. I mean, I, I, I can afford that, you know? You know, it's just about one to two hours of my life that I work for, okay, I can buy it. Which makes it very, very easy to buy. The fact that it's easy to buy, a lot of people don't buy it. I mean, they probably don't know about it or they just, you know, they just have a sour taste in their mouth from the last time silver was up and they did buy it and it went down. Who knows? But relatively speaking, silver is a good entrance to the precious metal game. If you're going for gold, then you're like, oh man, you know what? Mm, I can't afford an ounce of gold right now, but you know, silver looks good. I can always buy silver and trade it in for gold. Now, reason number three is silver is very volatile. It's very volatile. A lot of people are using silver. Gold is hoarded, all right? A lot of people are using silver in their everyday technology. Matter of fact, the cell phone camera that I'm actually recording this video on right now has silver in it. And matter of fact, I think this Apple Watch has silver in it. If you look at solar panels, it has silver in it. The car that you drive, all right? The defroster, the mirror in the back, not the mirror, the window in the back, it has silver in it. So silver has a whole bunch of good uses that just go up into technologies like computer. Probably the computer you're watching me on has silver in it, which makes it way much more of a demand than gold is. So a lot of people are buying it up because it's so volatile and they have this scare that's going on. Yeah, silver is about to be, it's about to be extinct because we're using it all up. How many people you know throws away their iPhone, all the silver is being consumed. It could be true, maybe not, who knows? And then last but not least, we have the silver to gold ratio is being high, all right? Right now, silver to gold ratio is about 80, somewhere about 80 to 85 to one, which means it's about 80 to 85 ounces of silver equals up to one ounce of gold. So a lot of people's waiting for that ratio that's so, so extremely big to just tie it up a little bit, whether it be silver prices going up to match gold prices, or so gold prices going down to match silver prices. Not exactly match, but just to tighten up the ratio. And when that happens, it's just real smart for you guys to just take all the silver that you have or just a portion of your silver if you want to still hold on to silver and buy gold with it. Well, not buy gold with it, but trade it in for gold. 
that's why I believe us as a community, we love silver more than we love gold. Now I should change that. It's not that we actually love silver more than we love gold. We love both of them, all right? We love both of them. It's just that gold is a bit harsher on our pockets. It's like gold is the father, right? You're afraid as a child, you're afraid that your, 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 your dad is gonna like, get the belt if you do something bad and beat you up or give you a smack on the bottom. Well, your mom is just pretty much gentle. Oh, you know what? You better don't do that, Eli, because you're gonna get on, I'm gonna call your dad, and when he gets home, you know what he's gonna do to you. So we tend to gravitate more towards silver because it's more gentle on our pockets. Now, that example I gave you was the worst example because my mom was like, come on, like, <laughs> I don't wanna mess with my mom, you know? I don't wanna mess with anybody's mom, but yeah, my mom was not to be played with, okay? Like, honestly, whew. I had a flashback just there, you know? But at the same time, I did not want to mess with my dad either. You know, I, I, I'll tell my mom to whoop me, even though that was bad as well. But my dad, I, it wasn't no belts, it was just like hands and, you know, it was like I had to get in the ring with Mike Tyson every time I, anyways, I'm off the point. You guys, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, comment down your thoughts and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up and have a wonderful day. Why?